Hey everybody, this is the original Josh back again with Cronsley USA. And today we are continuing our electric troubleshooting series. And this particular video we are calling tripping. So very common way for our customers or people that are looking for technical support to describe, describe one of their symptom, symptoms is to say that they're tripping. Um, so when that is the term that a customer uses, we need to dig deeper into what they actually mean because tripping could apply to a couple different devices in our system and which device is tripping is um, going to lead us in the direction of diagnosing how to make it stop. So the first thing that we're gonna take a look at is a GFI. That can be one of our items that, that could be tripping. Next is gonna be, we'll discuss the on off switch, which can also technically trip. And then you also have the breaker in your breaker panel of your home at, or um, you know, in your business that could also trip when you're using the device. So we'll discuss what could lead to those, those particular scenarios and how can we prevent them from happening. So first we'll start with the GFI. Uh, if you've watched the other series where we discuss the GFI and how it works and how to be replaced, uh, this is basically protecting you, the operator, from dying. Um, you know, if, if the machine or the um, connections that we get current from get wet, uh, that's a very good way to turn you into a light bulb. So this device is designed to trip as soon as it senses current going directly to ground uh, when it shouldn't be, or at all for that matter. Um, what's going to lead to that happening most often is going to be did your extension cord outlet or uh, generator get wet or did the equipment get left out? Is moisture um, gotten into the enclosure or maybe into the, the pressure switch box? So those types of things can cause a short to ground which is going to trip our GFI. The other item that can lead to it is if there is a uh, electrical short. It's rare for it to ever be in any part of the motor winding itself. It's actually more, more likely that maybe you uh, were winding this too tightly around the pressure washer over and over and over and over again. You know how when you have an old appliance that you've used the cord and keep wrapping it around, eventually you can start to see the bodies of the wires through the jacket. That's an indication that you could be actually breaking down the wires themselves. And if they get out of the inner insulation and make a short to ground, that's going to trip your GFI and that's going to require uh, this to be replaced. But if we find out it's the GFI that's tripping, we can either figure out is it something that's actually wrong with the cord or is there some place in the circuit that we're getting uh, current to ground. The next thing would be your on off switch. So the on off switch, uh, as we've discussed in a previous series, has uh, kind of a two click uh, process to get into the on position. And that's because this switch has a thermal overload built into it. And what that's uh, meant to accomplish is that when the machine is being fed current, if it starts to draw too much current or if the voltage drops, which would require more amps to do the, amount of, the same amount of work, that will cause the uh, components inside the switch to get hot, which clicks it to the off position. That protects the rest of the motor from getting too hot and essentially melting down. Um, it's not quite as dramatic as it sounds, but you know that's essentially what's going to happen in your motor. We don't want that to happen, so this senses an overcurrent through the switch. Now, one of the ways that we would experience overcurrent is what kind of uh, energy or what, what our power supply is to the pressure washer. So. Are we on a dedicated circuit to the pressure washer? This one doesn't want to share its uh, electrical with anything else on its circuit. So we want this to be on a dedicated 15 amp circuit to operate. Doesn't need a, a 20 amp circuit necessarily. Uh, that's really just more for protection in the event that you uh, have some other device on that circuit that you may have maybe overlooked. But this is only going to draw 15 amps. So 15 amp circuit is what you're going to need. Um, but if you plug it into a 15 amp circuit and then you also plug this into an extension cord in between, that's going to potentially cause voltage drop over a distance and that will cause your on off switch to click to the off position. Uh, if we're using some other form of power supply, 
Say for instance a generator, the generator is not properly sized to give enough wattage to the pressure washer, then that will cause the uh, machine not to get enough current and will over amp the switch, then causing it to click to the off position. Lastly, with these machines, another very common way that we experience the on-off switch tripping is whatever devices that you're using with the pressure washer after the pump. So that is your pressure washer hose or the gun and nozzle assembly, more specifically the nozzles that you're using, the restriction of the flow, uh, that adds load to the motor. So with your 1622, you use a 2.8 nozzle to achieve full pressure. But with your 1322, you use a 4.2 nozzle to get your optimized pressure, or on this one it's marked as a, a number four nozzle. So if you're using an orifice size that is too small for your pressure washer, that increases the load, that increases the amount of uh, current going through the switch, and that will cause it to trip. How much load do we add to here will, uh, will affect how quickly it happens. So it's like most things, if I drop a whole lot of weight on you all at once, you're gonna pop this switch uh, right away. So if I've got a 1322 and I put a little tiny nozzle on it like this one, it's probably going to trip right away. But if we use the 1322 with a 3.5 nozzle, you might get away with it for a while before the motor starts to struggle. Uh, you start to trip your own off switch and then you've developed a problem. Lastly, the hose itself, this machine is rated for a maximum of about 50 feet of high pressure hose. You can sometimes get away with more, although it's not recommended. Um, but if you were using a hundred foot or 150 feet of hose, you're gonna click this. This is, this is gonna keep popping on you every time you squeeze the trigger. There's gonna be too much load for the pressure washer and eventually it will cause damage to the uh, other components in the system. So if your on off switch is tripping, you can try a different power source. Uh, also try going back to your factory accessories if you have a 1622 or an 1122 that can possibly solve your problem without even having anybody look at the machine. So lastly, we'll talk about the breaker tripping in your home. So as we've discussed, this machine's a 15 amp pressure washer. It only needs a 15 amp circuit. So the breaker will actually be rated for 15 amps. Uh, if you have a much older home, you might find that using full 15 amps on that breaker may cause it to trip. So if there's any questions about whether or not the breaker in your panel is uh, being overloaded, try another circuit. It's generally the first step of everything. If this isn't working for some reason at this outlet, go try it at that outlet. So once we've ruled those out, we can then take the next step. And if it uh, involves your panel, it will most likely involve a certified electrician. All right, guys. So before you call us and tell us you're tripping, uh, remember, we're gonna know what is tripping. Is it your GFI? Is it your on-off switch? Or is it the breaker in your panel? And uh, if you do call us for customer su support for those items, we just wanna remind you, we really would like to know what symptoms you're getting with your factory accessories. So hopefully you still have those. Uh, it's a great reason to hold on to them. So uh, testing it without your, or testing it with your factory accessories before you give us a call will give, help us give the best results. So thanks for joining us here at Cronsley USA, Pressure Washer Perfection. Cronsley USA, Pressure Washer Perfection.